Located in central Japan, the prefecture of Gifu is known for its beautiful scenery, picturesque towns, and relaxing onsen. We spent a few days exploring this beautiful part of Japan. In this video, we'll take you through our itinerary along with our top recommendations on things to do as well as some transportation options. Upon arriving at Chubu Senchair International Airport, we purchased a data SIM card from a vending machine at the arrivals area, which will come in handy when we need to access maps, keep in touch with loved ones, or post that perfect photo on social media. Next, we proceeded to the JR train ticket office to claim our 5-day tourist pass, which we purchased online prior to our trip. This tourist pass will allow unlimited travel on JR trains on the areas we will visit. It can be purchased at the airport or through various websites. It is usually slightly cheaper if you purchased online before entering Japan. First in our itinerary is Gero. From Chubu Senchair International Airport, we took the Meitetsu Airport Express train and got off at Nagoya Station. From Nagoya Station, we proceeded to the JR train terminal and took the JR Hida Limited Express train to Gero. Perfect for rest and relaxation, Gero is a small city popular for its hot springs known as onsen and traditional Japanese inns called ryokan. Aside from private onsens which one can find in numerous ryokans, a few public bathhouses are also available for visitors to enjoy. Several free foot baths are also scattered around the city for everyone to use after a long day of sightseeing. Upon arriving at Gero, we checked into our ryokan and wasted no time in soaking at its private onsen. For dinner, we took the opportunity to dine at one of the local restaurants to sample the delicious Hida Wagyu beef. The following day, we spent the morning exploring the city on foot, including the Gasho Village, which is an open-air museum that features traditional farmhouses from Shirakawa-go. More on Shirakawa-go later in this video. The next stop is Takayama, also known as Hida Takayama. From Gero Station, we again took the JR Hida Limited Express train to Takayama Station. The following day, we got up early to check out the beautiful, well-preserved old town with narrow streets filled with wooden houses and shops dating back to Japan's Edo period. Aside from its high-quality timber, Takayama is also known for its sake breweries. Next, we headed over to the Miyagawa Morning Market where one can find numerous stalls selling local handicrafts, snacks, fruits, and souvenir items. After a busy morning at Takayama, we made our way to Shinhotaka Ropeway. At Takayama, we proceeded to Nohi Bus Center which is right beside JR Takayama Station. This is where you can purchase a combination ticket that includes round-trip bus transfers as well as round-trip transportation at the ropeway. We waited for the bus at bus stop 5. Shinhotaka Ropeway is popular for its unique double-decker cable car that transports visitors up along Mount Hotaka to an altitude of 2,156 meters. Upon reaching the upper station, visitors will find an observation deck which offers a stunning panoramic view of the Japanese Alps. During winter, visitors looking for heavy snow and extreme cold weather will enjoy walking around the parks and nature trails. By late afternoon, we headed back to Takayama. The following day, we made our way to Shirakawa-go. Back at Nohi Bus Center in Takayama, 
we waited for the bus at bus stop 4. Our JR tourist pass covered the bus fare, so we didn't have to buy separate bus tickets for this trip. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Shirakawa Go is a small village in the northwestern part of Gifu featuring old Japanese farmhouses with unique Gatsho style architecture. The farmhouses feature steeply sloped thatched roofs resembling hands joined in prayer, which is ideal since this area receives a heavy amount of snowfall during winter. The houses were built without nails and some have stood for more than two centuries. We spent the entire day at Shirakawa Go before heading back to Takayama. On our last day, we made our way to the city of Gifu, which serves as the prefectural capital. From Takayama Station, we again took the JR Hida Limited Express train to Gifu Station. Upon arriving at Gifu Station, we walked to our hotel, left our bags, and took a short bus ride to Gifu Park. Gifu Park is located at the base of Mount Kinka and is the perfect place to snap a few photos and take a breather. Next is Gifu Castle. Located on top of Mount Kinka, visitors have the option to take an hour-long hike up a mountain trail, but on this occasion, we took the two-minute cable car ride located within Gifu Park. Gifu Castle was originally built in the 13th century and features exhibits of battle armor, weapons, and artworks from the Edo period. Visitors will also enjoy the observation deck at the top of the castle, which offers stunning panoramic views of the city and beyond. Just a few minutes walk from Gifu Park is the Kawaramachi Townscape, where you will find traditional old wooden houses dating back to over a hundred years, some of which have been converted to cafes and shops. Visitors looking to get away from the crowds will enjoy its quiet atmosphere. Also just a short walk from Gifu Park is Shoboji, a Buddhist temple established in 1638 which houses a giant statue of Buddha. We took the bus back to Gifu Station and had a delicious dinner at a local Yakiniku restaurant. Also just a few minutes walk from Gifu Station is Tamamiya a popular nightlife area with a wide array of pubs and drinking spots. Finally, the city has a direct train route back to Chubu Senfair International Airport, so it's perfect as a last stop for those that need to catch a flight the following day. Thank you for watching this travel guide and we'll see you on the next video.